that clone pedals can cost the price of a house, we already know. But is it worth it to spend some bucks more to get a boutique clone clone? Let's find out how it compares with an affordable clone and the best seller of the affordable market, the Mosky Golden Horse. Stick with me! What's up fellow budget tone chasers for one more video here at the channel, but this time I'm bringing a different experiment to you all. We all know clone pedals, and I believe you don't need another clone clone review here at the channel. But one question that constantly crosses the budget tone chasers mind is, is it really worth it spending some bucks more on a boutique drive? To come to this conclusion together, today I'll bring three different clone clones in different price ranges all inside the affordable-ish price. Ok, ok, the Centavo is already a little bit out of the affordable league, costing today 179 bucks. But, take it as our reference of what should sound the original thing, so we can compare our two budget contestants, the Joyo Torin, costing 50 bucks, and the Mosque Golden Horse, costing 20 bucks. For this experiment, I will use four settings traditionally secret on the clone style drive, the clean boost, the edge of breakup, the biting overdrive, and the hard clipper. To make it a little bit more interesting and interactive, we'll have two rounds for each setting. The first will be a blind test, so you can type on the comments below your guess about which is which and if you were right. And on the second round, we already reveal which pedal was which. Sounds good? So we are ready good to go. Round 1. Clean Boost.
2. Edge of Breakup Fighting Overdrive. Round 4 Hard Clipper 
saw how those three pieces of gear react to the playing, I would like to share with you my two cents, especially in what regards to the sensation of playing it. The Mosque Golden Horse is for sure more skinny in terms of sound output and drive, and to be able to extract a good tone from it, I needed to compensate a lot on the playing dynamic. It is visible that it doesn't follow the same circuit of the original clone, as the responsiveness of the knobs are even different. Anyway, it delivers a pretty decent sound on some of the settings we explored, like the edge of breakup and the clean boost. When we talk about the Joyo Torrent, we are already navigating into a more fair comparison. The Torrent has bunches of output, just like the Centavo, but it is fair to admit that I didn't engage the mod switch on the Centavo to compensate for the low ending loss caused by the clipping of the circuit. In this sense, on the same conditions of comparison, I feel that the Torrent is more nasal with more compression, especially on the high mid frequencies which tends to become more muddy when you reach higher gain settings, like the hard clipper setting. The Centavo is more responsive when playing open chords, and it has a beautiful and organic clipping, justifying its price. Of course, if you cannot go for the Centavo, I strongly suggest you to get your hands on the Torrent, as it is a really competent pedal for 99% of the applications that you are probably looking for. But this is the only my opinion, now I want to know yours. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with my analysis. And as always, I would like to invite you to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and join our members club, in which you will be able to get amazing benefits like anticipate videos, full DIY project videos, thank you captures for download and amazing giveaways. That's all for today, I'll catch you on the next, keep on rocking, 